Hey guys, today we're gonna to look at uh, Galaga Assault from uh, Bandai Namco and in partnership with Raw Thrills. They made this uh, 49 inch, um, essentially redemption remake of the 1981 classic Galaga. And it um, consists of two levels. Um, and what you're seeing right now is the final level where you have to battle the mothership. Um, this is, was released a couple years ago. Uh, they, they do retail for a decent amount of money. Um, but we're gonna check out today is we're gonna check out how it works and a few of the bugs that I found. Uh, let's take a look inside this big boy. Um, there's not much in the back panel except for your standard uh, Wells Gardner LCD um, monitor. Um, there is this uh, RGB uh, LED bezel that changes colors, interacts with the gameplay along with the RGB T molding and along with uh, lit side panels. And inside, this bad boy is powered by a tiny little Dell computer, probably like a Atom or a Celeron or something. Uh, some little micro computer, not much of anything. You'll see a small power supply. And that looks to be it. Um, there is some sort of uh, secondary power supply there. Um, it also has the standard Raw Thrills arrangement, test switch, service switch, volume up and down. The only difference is this has a second one with the ticket meter and it also has the regular coin meter. So that's nice of them to include that. Um, so let's throw it in a test and see what we get. Like every Raw Thrills game, you have to hold it in test and then you get this diagnostic pricing, payout, um, volume settings, advanced settings. Um, it has a wide, uh, array of price adjustments um, you can do tokens card swipe your standard raw thrill stuff currency type coins to play coins to add to ship um, you can buy extra ships in this game for an extra credit um, uh, it also gives you the current settings down here at the bottom we have our set at 60 cents a game because we do dimes here and uh, target payout is 25% so let's exit out of here you can get very fine payout adjustments there get your payout percentage your average ticket value the maximum jackpot it gives you the option for uh two point tickets i'm not sure what jackpot rotating is uh, the option to turn um, ships on and off and it also gives you the highly coveted uh, amusement mode which can't probably see. Now basically amusement mode is essentially the original version of Galaga with some minor differences which I don't like them but instead of uh, having to clear all the ships you shoot 100 ships it skips you to the next stage sort of thing. But if you don't want to run tickets it does give you the option so that's nice. Um, you can do your audits. Pretty standard stuff. You can do payout audits. Um, it gives you all kinds of data. It's very good at managing its payout, which is, you know, good for the operator. And in advanced settings, you can have a few uh, choices for ticket terminology. You can say ticket or coupon for some places where tickets are illegal. Um, leaderboard settings. It does like every uh, midway game, it'll reset the leaderboard after 5,000 plays. Obviously, you can adjust that if you don't like it. Um, QR codes. Uh, we haven't played around with that yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to play a regular game and then um, we will play a, an amusement game and see how that goes. Um, for the ticket game, it's pretty standard. Add your money. Now, right now, I can buy more ships. See? adding more coins so we'll start with like three and it's basically Galaga left and right you got a big fire button pretty mindless there's a bomb that comes out that clears a lot of ships for you pretty cool now you got to defeat the mothership you beat the mothership you get the bonus that's in the center right there one hand, so it'll be nice. Like that, we got 40 tickets. You can get any 
anywhere up to the maximum number of tickets set by the operator. So, and then it spits out tickets. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you amusement mode, and I'm going to show you the bug that I found. First, we're going to put a high score in. And as you can see, the ticket table. I'm sure, it'll give me a high score. No, okay, I didn't get good enough. But there's a there's a high score for the tickets, and then there's a um, and it, basically you can max out at a certain amount of points. But if you want to be really mean to somebody. You can put this thing in amusement mode, get a high score, and switch it back at tickets, and you'll have a high score on the ticket table that no one can ever get. <laughs> so let's do that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into test. Hold the test button. We're going to pay out adjustments, and then we're gonna turn amusement mode on. Now before you do this, make sure you note that it's gonna clear all your audits and all that kind of stuff. You're gonna clear all the high score tables when you do that too. So now we're exiting out. Now we're in your basic standard Galaga. So now we're in the old school Galaga, in theory. So let's, uh... We're gonna get a really high score, so we're gonna add a lot of ships. Just to see. We're gonna add the maximum number of ships. Max ships, all right. So basically, I just pushed fire. Now we're playing old school Galaga. And um, basically you just clear 100 ships and then you go through the waves. And we had 15,000. I wonder how long I can go like this. It's like impossible for me to die like this. As you can see, the amusement mode, you may not want to turn all ships on. Because it'll just go on forever. I'm not even trying, I'm, just, I'm not even using the joystick. Oh, there's the, oh, oh, they're starting to kill me. I lost two ships. Yeah, it's really, it's really trying to kill me now. Mother ship? Basically, at wave 10, there's a mothership, apparently. Excellent. It's really trying to kill me now. We're at 145,000. This is a totally impossible score to get with the ticket redemption mode. 50. We're down to one ship. Challenging stage. Oh my gosh. I get all my ships back with every life? Come on. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to kill myself now. Just to get to 200,000 and then we'll just die off. So. What we're gonna do after we die is we're gonna hit the test switch and go back into the settings. Continue. Right at the continue screen here. There we go. We're gonna go into payout adjustments. Turn amusement. Oops, exit. Amusement mode, no. Looks like it kept all my other settings, that's good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of here. And it's gonna give us a million tickets probably if it works. Exiting out, and like that, we got 208 tickets. Which kind of sucks. Have to pay out 208 tickets to do this, but 
Why it gave us 208 tickets? I don't know. But now what it's gonna do is it's gonna let us enter our name on the high score table for the amusement mode that'll stick. And it'll be totally unachievable by anybody that plays the ticket game. So if you really wanna troll somebody with your Galaga Assault at the arcade, this is how to do it. Make an unattainium high score. High score. So I'm gonna put my name in because I earned it. <laughs> there we go. We are now on top of the leaderboard for tickets. Let's see you guys beat that one. Taking a look at the cabinet, the cabinet is actually very well built, uh, very solid. Um, even the topper, some assembly required, but very durable, um, very eye-catching. This thing is very tall, you know, compared to the rest of the games in the game room here. It is very, very tall. Um, and then, you know, this is tickets for prizes, and this is, you know, way taller than that. Um, so it's very eye-catching. High resolution art throughout the cabinet. Even it's hard to see on the sides here because we have it in the in the, in the row, but uh, it's there. My only gripe is um, that this uh, control panel doesn't have latches in a hinge. It's just bolted on. So if you have to work on these joysticks and button, um, can be a pain. But overall, cabinet-wise, very solid. You know, it's not falling apart like certain manufacturers' cabinets. So. I'm very happy with it. Um, I would give the I'd give the cabinet nine out of ten. The only thing that brings it down a little bit is the lack of a latch and possibly the durability of the, the fire button. Those illumination buttons aren't the greatest. So, other than that, very good. Um, so that's the cabinet. Gameplay wise, it's, it it serves its purpose. It's Galaga in a short form for redemption. Um, it has the option for amusement mode, which is good for people who don't want to run that. It does give flexibility to the operator, so I do give it props for that. Um, I would say as a rating, I'm going to give it probably 8 out of 10. Um, it, it's a little lower than Pac-Man Chomp Mania, just because Pac-Man is you know, more recognizable and a little bit more fun. Um, but overall, very good presentation, um, very good uh, updated graphics, but still a solid earner. Um, so I still give it 8 out of 10. It's not a bad game. And it's a very decent price. So, uh, so that was my look at Galaga's Salt today, guys. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is this, a, is this a cool trick you do? I don't know. Probably not. But anyway, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can also support us on Patreon or TeePublic.